Hey, what's up guys? It's time for another Let's Play Pokemon Stadium. In the last episode, we got through Sabrina's Gym, and uh, very much like Erica, we had to retry the uh, second underling trainer. So, uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to end up being the same way uh, from here on out, probably. Maybe, maybe not. But anyway, we're going to take on Blaine. Ooh, we have a Psychic, a Judo Boy. Okay, right off the bat, I'm, I'm almost certain like what kind of Pokemon we're going to have to prepare. Judo is probably going to obviously use Fighting type Pokemon. Psychic is, surprise, surprise, going to probably use Psychic. Nerd, he usually has a tendency to either use Poison or uh, Electric type Pokemon. And Blaine, as you all know, uses Fire type Pokemon. So, alright. We're going to lean a little bit more towards uh, Ground-type Pokémon, and as well as uh, Psychic. Well, whatever. I'll, uh, I'll let you know what... Uh, whatever. You're going to see at the end of the... the I, I'm totally failing at words here. Anyway, I'll uh, get back to you once I figure out a team, because there is quite a bit to... Um, quite a bit to assemble, so, uh, flash forward. Okay, hopefully this works out well. We have Gyarados, Marowak, Alakazam, Jolteon, Rhydon, and, uh, Wigglytuff. Let's do this. And take on Blaine. Always one of my favorite gym leaders, Blaine. Guy likes puns, what can I say? Oh, wow, he... I, I, I totally had this coming. Fighting types? Up the ass. Uh, let's see. Uh, send out Alakazam first for obvious reasons. Hmm, let's see, what else? Um, hmm, hmm. I guess we could do Marowak as well, and then Wigglytuff. Does that sound good? I sincerely hope it does. Although I'm sort of sure Alakazam can make some quick work of uh, these Pokemon here. So, it's just uh, sort of a spam of confusion, really. Sort of the reason why I I rather train my own Alakazam because confusion isn't uh, the greatest psychic move. If anything, just the normal psychic really is. But I always found confusion to be a bit less powerful, which is the main, which is like the main reason why I would choose psychic over confusion. And my Alakazam, the one that I trained, already knows psychic, so yeah. I'm sure you'll see Alakazam, or at least my Alakazam, later in the future. It's getting pumped up. I, I have no idea what on earth Focus Energy does, to be honest. I don't know if that... Oh, that was my phone ringing, sorry. Um... I'll be right back. I'm going to take this call, so, uh, let me see what the next Pokemon is. Okay. Uh, sorry to, uh, interrupt the Let's Play here, but, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Uh, we're back in the game. Shut up, I already did. I did uh, uh, issue an order. I uh, ordered him to uh, take out this Machoke. <laughs> I just noticed that Machoke is wearing a Pokemon belt. Like, in all seriousness, he's wearing a Poke uh, he's wearing a Pokeball on his belt. I never noticed that before for some reason. That's weird. It's like having a Boltorb on your belt. It's so weird. I never noticed that to this very day. Wow. Anyway, let's see. 
yeah, there are a bunch of psychic Pokemon here. Um, got all of them are psychic except for Polyrath. Uh, let's see. I knew uh, Jolteon was going to come in handy. So, yeah, Jolteon, you're definitely going out. Um, uh, I guess we could send out Gyarados. For... Nah. Um, uh... Uh, hmm. Yeah, why not? Wiggly tough. Even though that, I'm almost certain Jolteon is gonna make short work of these guys. Much in the same way that, much in the same way that Alakazam made short work of uh, the Judo trainer. So just uh, keep spamming Pin Missile. Oh, wait, why did I use Pin Missile from the left? Say it yet. Uh, I'm so dumb. I guess I was too quick to act on Psychic Pokemon, that's what threw me off. Alright, Thunder. Bring it on the Thunder! I don't know what that was. Sorry, I got a bit excited over the thunder. And why shouldn't I get excited? This thunder is uh, really making short work of these guys. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Yeah, Jolteon, you are a true lifesaver right next to Jinx. Wow, these are all psychic and water types. Except for Polyrath, he was fighting. So yeah. Ah! He had a good run. Oh, no, 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 please. Oh, by the way, sorry, that's my chair squeaking. Uh, I, I had no idea, like, I was doing that this entire time. Was I really? Did, did you guys hear my chair squeaking? I, I apologize. Come on! Even with an added recharge. Jolteon, why are you failing me? But anyway, guys, sorry about that chair squeaky thing and that phone call. Uh, it's like around the holidays, so everything's kind of like, you know, sort of a cluster of to say the least. Alright. Not bad, not bad. I sort of knew that Blaine was going to be sort of easy. I say sort of, because I had no idea what the nerd is going to... Uh, spew out. Okay, I was I was sort of right about the poison types and electric types. He sort of have a, he sort of has a mix of the two. Uh, there's there's one electric type. There's one grass type. Uh. Okay, let me think this through. Uh, I, oh sh**, I don't have Slowbro. Well, even then, like, he didn't have a psychic move anyway. Um... Let me think. Uh, there's... There's two that... I believe Jill... Yeah, there's two I believe Jolteon can handle, which is like Executor and uh, Coyster. As for uh, Golem and Muck, uh, Alakazam can handle them. Then there's also like 
Slowbro and... Or not Slowbro, Snorlax! Snorlax and Electrode. Um... Well, this is kind of tough, really. I don't know which one to send up first, either Alakazam or... Well, then again, which one is like the... Well, both are... Like, these two sets of Pokémon are very likely to come out. Alright, let's see. I'm going to go with my gut on this and say that Alakazam should go first. Jolteon also goes out. No-brainer. Um, hmm. I wonder if, uh, wonder if Gyarados should go out. Oh. No, not because there's Electrode and... Ugh. There's Electrode and... Executor. So, I mean, like, both of those could take out, like, right on Marowak, Gyarados, no problem. So, the only other choice is really tough. So, yeah. How's that for process of elimination there? We're running out at, uh, 18 minutes so far. Subtract maybe about a couple of seconds. So, maybe we're running at 16 or 15. Uh,. I don't have any fighting types to take care of Snorlax, so we're just gonna do this. Keep digging. Dig tunda, dig dig tunda. Oh, Skull Bash? That's such a dumb move, Skull Bash. It doesn't do that much, and it takes a turn to charge for some reason. I never liked. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Alright. That's it. I'm definitely switching out Alakazam with Wigglytuff after that. Holy s***. Dude, that was horrifying. Dude, Snorlax is a tank. It just sucks that, like, his... His moveset in the rental slots, they just suck. Alright, here's where I'm gonna lull it to sleep, hopefully. Alright, let's do this. Let's put him to sleep. Please, do it. Oh, come on! It's a Snorlax! Snorlax should sleep! No! No! Holy s***. Dude, this Snorlax might be the end of me right here. What the? Come on. Go to sleep. Yes, thank you. Please don't wake up. What? Come on. Throw me a bone here. Dude, this Snorlax is such a tank, I swear. This is horrifying right here. Look how much damage he's taking. Then again, I am using really tough. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're killing me here. I was hoping I wouldn't... Like... I was hoping I wouldn't have to use Jolteon. The Pokemon are All right. Different Thunder, come on. Come on. Knock him out. Yes! Holy s***. What are we on, the last Pokemon? Oh, that was the first one? me. Oh, it's Great, now I have to switch back to Alakazam, who's probably going to get his ass whipped in the next turn. I'm already, like... Wigglytuff is already out. Uh, what are you going to do, Muck? Oh my! Okay, at least... <laughs> at least there's that. Okay. At least this trainer's a friggin' idiot. Okay. I only hope it isn't 
what was the other poison? What a wild turn of events. Alright, I'm seriously, seriously hoping that it's something I can easily take out. Come on. Oh, thank god. Thank god it's Quister. Alright, I'm bringing on the thunder again. You ready, folks? Are you ready for this? Yeah! <laughs> that was all for nothing. Ow. At least it's something I could take out. Dude, holy I am so lucky that that muck used self-destruct. Alright. Take him out. Yeah! Hey, man! And there goes the battle! Oh, sorry, my voice cracked. Ugh. I'm 19 years old! Ugh. I didn't know I was still going through puberty. Am I? Dude! What is this urge I have in my pants all of a sudden? It's so strong! Nah, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Alright! Uh, two can easily be taken out by water. Or, not two, like three. Uh, three of them can be easily taken out by water. However, Charizard, he's probably not gonna, he's probably not gonna be that affected by, uh, any ground or rock. Rock, maybe. So, uh, yeah. Uh, no-brainer, send out Gyarados first. Um... Right on for backup. And, uh. And, uh. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Alakazam? For backup, I guess? Or, like, extra backup? This is it! The showdown against Blake! The leader of Cinnabar Gym is a fire Pokemon technician! All right. And you'll get burned. You'll get burned. Oh, I didn't know fire. I didn't know like hydro pump had only like five PP. And no, I don't mean PP as in your Johnson. I mean PP like power points. I believe that's one South Park game already made that joke. By the way. Oh, seven. All right, take down. What's this? Charizard, no! Leave Gyarados alone. I need him. Don't do that. The good thing about using, like, a move that has recoil on it as you're about to take down a Pokemon is that when you take down the Pokemon, like, make him faint, no recoil damage. I love that. It has to make up for lost ground. I still don't know what that means. It has to make up for Long's Brown. What are you saying, dude? Oh, not Fire Spin. It took the abuse easily. Took the abuse easily. Yeah, make whatever uh, Ray Rice joke that you want. Because <laughs> I know that's probably like an obvious thing. There's a little damage. The heated battle rages on! Ha! <laughs> heated battle. It's funny because we're fighting in Blaine's gym. And oh my god, fire blast, dude. Come on. Let me out of here. You know, I'm not gonna switch out Gyarados because. Wait, what else do I have? Yeah, we're not switched right on. Odds are, like. Well, I already took out Charizard, so I have no problem with uh, having a flying type to deal with using a ground Pokemon. And looky here, right on no surf. Oh, no. Ah! Again with. Oh, yes. Yes, you threw me a bone. Prepare to get uh, soaked. What? It only took that much? Fine, I'll use Dig. Uh, not fine. Uh, 
Hi, you're missing. Barrowed on the ground. I don't know if I'm getting lucky with Rapidash missing these fire spin attacks. I probably am. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely glad I missed that. Oh, yeah, you're out. You're out of there. Okay. Who's this last Pokemon going to be? Oh, it's Arcana! All right. The remaining Pokemon count. Do you surf again? <sighs> the battle has become one site. Oh no! No! Now I know Rhydon's a ground type Pokemon. I forgot if like Pokemon like Rhydon are that much affected by ground moves. I, you know, I'm just gonna stick with Gra uh, Well, uh, yeah, switch out with Gyarados because Gyarados is considered a flying and water Pokemon, which is kind of weird because, like, in some areas of the game, they refer to Gyarados as like water and dragon rather than water and flying. Which one is it? I was always confused about that. Ha ha ha! You miss. All right, finish him off with the Hydro Pump. And I hope I don't get knocked out here. God. You know, I was hoping I would go first. Nope. Nope. This chair is so squeaky. Okay. Two could play this game. I'm gonna use Dig. <laughs> I knew he was gonna do that. I knew it. Great, now we have two Pokemon underground. You think it? I've always like sort of wondered about this. If you have two Pokemon that are underground, what are the odds that they're gonna run into each other? That'd be awesome. <laughs> Yeah, how do you like it, ass? Yeah, one hit! <laughs> oh, by the way, I know I'm like. I forgot, like. Apparently, Arcanine is referred to as, like, sort of not a legendary Pokemon, but then again, he is. What's that about? I forgot how you. I forgot how some people classify Arcanine. I guess maybe he's super rare or something? It's either one of those, but anyway, uh, we are totally done with like all of these other punks. So there's only one more, one more punk to deal with, and then what lies ahead? I wonder. So the mysterious Giovanni is going to be our next opponent, and Earth, you know as an earth badge it, 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 tr try to um, try to figure out what his type of Pokemon is I already probably mentioned it in the let's play whatever I'm just gonna say it uh, Brock back here specializes in uh, rock Pokemon uh, Giovanni over here specializes in ground Pokemon yeah because there's some Pokemon out there who I guess are a bit of both so there's not that much of a difference really so anyway in the next episode we are gonna take on Giovanni of the Viridian City Gym so I'll see you guys next time bye